Hello, I'm Ben, and if this is your first time visiting my channel, then welcome, and if it's not, then welcome back. I've made a few videos featuring the Quan Sheng handhelds, but uh, one question that keeps getting asked is, can I do a really, really basic video for uh, beginners or people that are returning to radio? So if that's what you're after, stick around, and uh, we'll try and show you getting the radio out of the box, switching it on for the first time, uh, changing modes, and programming and listening to your first frequency. So if you just received your uh, Quanshang UVK5, UVK58, UVK6, UV5R in the post, it doesn't matter what model it is, they're all pretty much the same um, when you switch them on for the first time. And we're not going to go through any uh, fancy modifications or anything like this. This is basically, it's just arrived from, from China via AliExpress or whoever you've ordered it from. Uh, you take it out of the box, um, you've got a few bits in there, you've got the handheld itself, you've got a... Uh, a charger and an aerial this is not going to be an unboxing video i'm not into that so uh, this is just getting it started basically so we've got the radio out of the box we're going to plug the antenna in or screw the antenna into the uh, the top of the radio there you may need to charge it for the first time but um, generally they have a little bit of charge in the batteries uh, i can't remember if the battery comes on the radio or not you may have to clip the battery and the uh, uh, the belt clip on let's say this isn't an unboxing i've had this one for a while um when you first switch it on, and I've put this back to exactly how it was when it arrived out of the box, so the frequencies are exactly as it was, the um, uh, the, the firmware is all uh, exactly as it as it was when it arrived from China, which is probably how yours will be. We're going to turn the uh, rotary control at the top there, so this is your volume on and off switch, so we turn that to the right. Welcome, channel mode 1. And you'll hear the radio will talk to you, hopefully in uh, in English. Sometimes it depends which country they've been uh, dispatched to. It might uh, talk to you in Chinese, but you can go into the settings and change that. Uh, hopefully it will come in the, in English language. Uh, and you heard it when we first switched it on. It will say welcome. It will tell you uh, that it's in either channel mode or VFO mode. So channel mode um, means it's got these... Uh, channels programmed into it. It already comes with 17 preset channels. Uh, that's really just for, for testing and for, for demonstration, I suppose. Um, the, the frequencies that are pre-programmed into it, don't think you're going to be able to switch it on and hear things coming out on the, on the, on the 17 channels that are already programmed into it. See if I press the up and down buttons here, it scrolls to channel 2. So one. channel 1 is uh, 144025 megahertz. That's in the 2 meter amateur radio band. It doesn't necessarily mean in your area there's going to be any activity on that frequency, like I said. And uh, I'll turn the volume down as we scroll through so that you don't have to keep listening to it. Um, channel 2 one four four five two five so again that's another two meter amateur radio frequency don't worry too much about what that is the meters means the uh, the length of the wave so uh, i say if you if you're brand new to uh, radio it doesn't matter too much um the technical terms but say just know that these frequencies may well um not actually work in your area or not not have any activity on in your area as i scroll through most of those so the first six channels are all in that two meter amateur radio band but like i say possibly no uh, no activity uh, when we get to channel seven onwards and i think most of these that the two that i've bought have come with the same frequencies in to start with uh, they're pretty much going through the uh, amateur radio 70 sems or uhf or ultra high frequency um, frequencies programmed into those and again there's there's not going to be any activity on those so to be able to listen to uh, some activity in your area and i know that uh, my audience on my channel is uh, pretty much uh, either united states or uh, or uk or there's a few other uh, viewers in the world i've looked at the analytics so uh, i know where you are <laughs> but um yeah, it doesn't matter whereabouts in the world you are, we'll always find something to listen to. Probably one of the easiest uh, bands to listen to is the AM Air Band, and uh, obviously on the box, it, uh, that's one of the selling points, is the, uh, you'll see there's a picture of an aeroplane on there, and uh, it says it does uh, AM FM aviation band receiving. So uh, the AM is, uh, or AM aviation is probably, like I say, the, the easiest one to, uh, uh, to listen to. But, so having said that, you still need to know what's going to be in range within in your area. So I suppose uh, the best thing to do, uh, let's say it doesn't matter where you are in the world, but 
using the internet and your uh, whatever preferred search engine is you use. I'd use Google. I'd do a Google search for maybe uh, frequencies in my area or airband frequencies uh, in my local area. Um, and that'll bring up local airports. If it's an, an airport local to you, you could put um, put your local airport in and uh, radio frequencies. And that'll either be a, a website for that or there's, there's hundreds of forums and uh, sources of information that we can find out uh, local frequencies. So going back to the radio then, uh, if, I've, if I've looked up my local airport, um, well, basically put in my local airport's frequency. At the moment, we're we're in uh, channel mode, so these are like I say, these are the preset channels. So what I need to change into uh, VFO mode. So don't worry too much about uh, the technicalities behind that. But uh, to, to to get into VFO mode, we just simply need to press the uh, the F button at the bottom of the radio. And you'll see the little F comes up in a box there. And then we're going to press 3 button, which is uh, now put it into frequency or VFO mode. So we can program those frequencies in. So now it simply lets us type whatever frequency we want to listen to. So I know that my local airport is on 1, one, one 9. Nine. I don't need to put a, a dot in or anything. Um, I can just put 3. So that's my local airport on 119350. And perfectly on cue, there's uh, radio traffic. Don't expect that every time. It doesn't always happen like that. That was a handy little demonstration for the uh, <laughs> for the video there. But you'll see that. Um, You'll see it says AM there. Uh, I haven't messed around with the settings on this at all. This is exactly as it would have been uh, from China. So I haven't changed the uh, uh, the backlight settings. So apologies if the backlight's not on, making it a bit more difficult to me for me to film this time. But you'll see there's a little AM there to show that it's in AM mode. Uh, as soon as we put anything in the uh, aviation band, it automatically defaults to uh, to AM. So that's that, that's AM. Um, Airband again, you can just put it in frequency mode, and uh, if you want to change frequencies, you can use the up and down arrows, and you'll see it's just changing the step there. Um, we can program those into those memory channels if you like, but uh, I've done another video um, which shows you how to use different firmware and things like that. So, this is going to be a simple uh, just listening to basic frequencies if you like without even doing any programming the radio. Um, you've got two what we call VFOs, so the top one and the bottom one there. There's, I think there's 200 memory channels. There's 200 memory channels in here that you can program. But just for this demo, I'm just going to use the two um, uh, VFOs there. Uh, there's a the little arrow at the top which shows that we're currently using the top VFO. And then I'm going to press the function key again. The little F light comes on to show that's pressed. And I'm going to press number two, which changes between A and B. So A is your top frequency and B is your bottom one. And um, this time I'm going to put in a, a VHF marine frequency because I'm quite close to the sea and um, the VHF marine radio frequencies that are used by all everything from huge ships uh, right down to uh, kayakers and canoes and paddle boarders, uh, leisure boat boaters, absolutely anyone in the world. It's all the same frequencies. So if you Google um, or say use whichever search engine you want, uh, VHF marine frequencies. And again, like me, if you live near a port or... Um, Turn the, that's the uh, air band coming through again. Um, but yeah, if you like me and you live near a port, you can look for your local uh, port operations frequencies or channels, and uh, it'll be a channel number. So I know that my local port uses channel 14, and I know that the frequency for that is 15... No, I haven't put it in VFO mode, have I? So I need to press function and VFO. function frequency mode. frequency mode there we go so we're in vfo or frequency mode i'd forgotten to do um and i need to put one, one five, five six, six uh seven, seven zero, oh, zero 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 so that is uh vhf marine channel 14 and hopefully just like we did with the air band we might start getting some uh some comms kind of comes coming through on there is obviously somebody's clicking a radio somewhere but uh, 
uh, yeah, that's our local uh, port authority uh, frequency. So again, look for your local frequencies, and uh, you can see that quite simply, you can uh, or quite quickly, you, you'll start hearing some activity on the radio. I know some people are getting a bit disheartened; they're buying these little. He's transmitting on uh, fourteen for some reason, Charlie. There you go. So you could hear that was the local port authority coming through again, nicely on cue. So yeah, they're. Uh, Really simple to use, and um, that's just simply uh, listening to your very fr first frequencies. And um, I say, if you uh, watch a few of my other videos, I have made a, uh, a playlist on the Quansheng UV K5 and K6 and uh, UV 5R Plus. Uh, we'll go into a little bit more depth on uh, on uh, on programming these into the memory channels. Uh, I hope this has been a useful little video, nice, quick, short one again, and uh, we'll. Uh, See you on the next one. If you haven't already subscribed, please do that. Again, looking at the analytics, uh, there's only about 6% uh, of my uh, viewers have actually subscribed to the videos. So uh, please hit that uh, like and subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. 7-3, bye-bye.